going on everybody? We're back again with another NFL game preview. In this one, we're going to talk about the Redskins and the Eagles. A key NFC East game on a Monday night. Um, this game is going to be played in Philadelphia. Both these teams met already this season in week one. The Eagles won that game, making the Redskins look really bad in that game. Actually making people think that the Redskins would be the worst team in the NFC East at that time. Uh, currently, the Redskins are 3-3 three and three, and the Eagles are 5-1, and one, I believe. Um, the Eagles right now look like the best team in the N in the NFC at least. Um, definitely in the NFC East right now looking like the best team, and they look like the best team in the NFC right now through uh, six games. Um, what can you say about these guys? They get after the quarterback. They do a good job of that. They have one of the best defensive coordinators in Jim Schwartz, who puts his guys in positions and uses his uh, uses his his talent to match his scheme or use yeah he he adapts his scheme to his talent. Um, they have one of the best three tech defensive tackles in the league, Fletcher Cox, in my opinion. Um, their secondary is flying under the radar, especially without their top corner, who I believe broke his leg or his ankle in Week One. Um, so for the for the Eagles, they kind of have everything going going on right, perfectly for them on the defensive side of the ball and on the offensive side of the ball. Um, Carson Wentz is throwing the ball really well. Um, well. Garrett Blunt is grinding teams out in the fourth quarter when they need to grind the game out. They have a talented offensive line. Um, their receiving corps has stepped up a lot, especially Nelson Aguilar. Um, he has looked better than he has since he got since he was drafted in the first round. I did think he came out early when he was drafted, but he's finally making it work, especially with the addition of Alshon Jeffrey, who is a true number one for them, and is uh, taking pressure off of Aguilar. And, and he has Zach Ertz, who has a great connection with Carson Wentz. On the flip side for the Redskins here, Kirk Cousins has looked really great the last couple weeks. Um, the Redskins are moving along. They're using Chris Thompson, their uh, their running back here, as one of their main receivers. He gets a lot of cat, uh, a lot of targets his way, and he, and he gets huge chunks of yards on his targets. Um, this defensive unit um, is kind of middle of the road in terms of what they've done, but they're getting the job done. They're they're you know getting the ball back to Kirk Cousins, who's able to lead his team down the field. Now, looking at these key matchups here, you know, um, for uh, both teams here, the, one of the best, the key matchups is going to be their offensive lines versus their defensive lines. Like I said earlier, you have the Eagles' defensive line. They can get after the quarterback. Um, the Redskins have a pretty solid offensive line, probably one of the top 10 in the league, top 15, you can say. Um, and on the flip side, the Redskins can get pressure. They run that 3-4, so they're able to get pressure from their outside linebackers. Ryan Kerrigan is going to have to play a huge part in this game, trying to get after Carson Wentz. Um, they just lost Jonathan Allen, their first-round pick from this past season for uh, the no tackle out of Alabama. So there's going to be a couple of uh, things to look out for here. Um, both teams boast really good offensive lines and really solid defensive fronts. So that's a key matchup here. I think that I'm going to give the advantage here to the Eagles just because of how well their combination of offense and defensive line is. Now, another key matchup here is going to be Josh Norman versus Alshon Jeffrey. Um, Josh Norman does a really good job of quieting another team's number one receiver. He's the type of corner that travels, plays great, and man-to-man. -man. Um, so look for that. Alshon Jeffrey has been um, used in some games as a decoy, but in most games, you know, he gets his targets. It's all about getting those targets, making the defense, you know, think that they're going to you. Uh, most teams don't have a physical corner that'll get up on you like Josh Norman, so look for that. Alshon Jeffrey, I think, is probably looking at a stat line of about four or five catches, 50, 50, 50, 50 to 60 yards, 65 yards here. Um, that's something to keep an eye on here as the game progresses on when Carson Wentz is looking for him. Um, Alshon Jeffrey is a very big, talented receiver, so look for that. And the third and final key matchup here is going to be, it's not even really a matchup, it's just a personal mindset for Kirk Cousins here. Kirk Cousins has to be able to limit his turnovers versus this Eagles defense. Um, this Eagles offense is soaring, um, they score points, and they put you in tough position because what they want to do is um, use their wide nine up with their, their four down linemen, spread them out, and get after you. Um, so in order for Kirk Cousins to succeed in this game, he's going to have to not turn it over. They're going to kind of have to rely on a running game. I think Robert Kelly is coming back for them. He's a big bruising physical back, so look for that. Now, um, now jumping into our uh, to three reasons why, three reasons why each team will win this game. Now for the Eagles, uh, three reasons why is that they're able to force Kirk Cousins to play terribly. 
by Tyler Lamy, a couple turnovers, you know, constantly in his face, getting pressure, getting hurries, getting quarterback hits, getting sacks. If they're able to do that, they'll easily win this game. Kirk Cousins does not handle pressure very well, in my opinion, and he does turn the ball over quite a bit. So look for the Eagles to be able to, to create pressures. You know, Jim Schwartz has been a great defensive coordinator in his time with the Lions, the, uh, the Bills, and now the Eagles. So look for that. Um, number two for um, the uh, the Eagles here is Carson Wentz continues on with you know throwing the ball down the field effectively, um, taking what the defense gives them almost you know keep stay ahead of the chains, um, you know use that play action. Uh, Doug Peterson is a very smart head coach in my opinion. I think last year was a you know it's his first turn, turn, time around being a head coach, and this year he's finally kind of figuring it out. So. You know, it kind of takes a head coach a couple seasons to, you know, understand clock management. And he calls the plays, so it's he has a lot on his table. Uh, you know, clock management, calling the plays, the flow of the game, you know, things like that. And I think Doug Peterson, especially coming from the Andy, Andy Reid coaching tree, you know, is starting to get it a little bit. So, you know, keep the game plan very similar to what they did in week one against the Redskins. You know, pound the rock with LeGarrette Blount if you have to. Um, find Zach Ertz. I think Zach Ertz is going to be have a huge game because I don't think there's very many people in this league who could match up with Zach Ertz. And number three is for the Eagles. We're just going to go right back to who we were talking about. Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz has a monster game. I'm thinking about seven or eight catches here, over 100 yards and a touchdown or two. Um, he's one of the top five to eight tight ends in the league, in my opinion. He catches the ball really well. Um, he can block well. Um, He's very underappreciated for what he does. I, I like Zach Ertz personally. Uh, I'm a Cowboys fan, so, you know, saying this kind of hurts. But Zach Ertz is a very, very talented, good football player. And he's somebody that you would want on, on your football team. Um, so look for Zach Ertz to take advantage of his mismatches on the linebackers and using um, his route running ability against the safeties. So look for him to have a monster game. Um, on the flip side for the Redskins here, um, three reasons why they'll win. They'll be able to... Uh, cause mass confusion in Carson Wentz you know show him different looks out of the 3-4 one thing I like out of the 3-4 is that you're able to use exotic zone blitzing packages so if the Redskins are able to do that they have a good chance to win the game getting pressure in his face sacks forcing to turn over here or there they can win this game uh, number two is that they're able to run the ball effectively the Eagles make it tough on any NFL team to run the ball look what they did to the Panthers last week Cam Newton was the leading rusher with 53 yards and their running backs had I think 20 carries for like 19 yards which is terrible um one thing the Eagles pride themselves on is stopping that run. So it comes down to Robert Kelly making those tough yards. Um, so look for that um, if, the Eagles, if the Redskins want to win this game. And the third thing is Kirk Cousins' play. Kirk Cousins has to practically play perfect, no turnovers type of thing. Um, just no turnovers from Kirk Cousins, and the Redskins can win this game. If Kirk Cousins gets lazy with the football, I just don't think that they'll win this game. Um, my prediction for this game is that the Eagles will continue on with another victory. Um, they will move to six and one. Um, I just think overall that the Eagles are a better team right now. They match up well with a lot of teams, especially on the defensive side of the ball. They can cause the pressures, they can force the turnovers. Their quarterback is playing great right now, and they're mixing in a little bit of that run game, so it's helping out. Um, so I think the Eagles will win this game. I think that they'll win 31 to 21 here um, on Monday night. So it's kind of going to be like a welcome to the show, Eagles. You know, they don't really, they haven't gotten a primetime game, I don't think, this year yet, except for the Thursday night game, but I don't really count those as primetime games. So look for the Eagles here to showcase that they're the best team in the NFC this, this year. Um, look for that. That's going to do it. I got two or three more preview videos coming out this week. I'm um, going we'll to do another one uh, right after this one, so look out for that. And there should be a couple more coming on Friday. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.